welcome to CKUT, your campus community radio station. My name is Madeline and I work as an audio content coordinator and I'm going to show you around. We've been working virtually uh, because of COVID, but that hasn't given the students the chance to really get inside and explore the station like we hoped. So we're going to show you around this way. All right, so welcome inside. We are going to show you around the studios, um, the production and the MCR studios and everywhere where the magic happens down here. Um, so first we'll go into production. So this room is a really nice sound, insulated room. This is where if you wanted to work on editing your show or pre-recording a show or just kind of mixing things, this is kind of where we would do that. In the past, we've pre-recorded concerts to play for air, things like that. Um, yeah, so this is kind of like our quiet little editing room. If you want to create a podcast or something like that, it might be done in this room. This is one of our studios where the magic happens. Um, so CKUT actually was founded in 1987. Um, we were Radio McGill before that in the 1960s, and then we got our FM signal. So we have been here since the late 90s. We used to be in a little, little basement on McTavish, and we finally upgraded so that we could have these studios for people to make radio. And so that's where we've been. We've been here since the 90s. This is one of those studios. This is the production room. So this is kind of where you would go to edit together your pieces, to pre-record things, to kind of mess around and make that perfect show for the radio. All right, so another little addition to the production room is the Vox booth. Um, so if you look in here, we have this kind of creepy little cave. <laughs> and if you were to record radio interviews, you could record it kind of going back and forth with the person here and then someone in the studio could monitor the levels there. So that's what this room is for. Next, we're gonna go to the music library. If you hear some music playing, it's because the station is playing live on air here. So this is possibly the most fun part of the station. Um, we have roughly over 70,000 different pieces of music, whether it be CD or vinyl. We get CDs from around the world and around Canada being sent to us. And we've amassed a really great collection over the years. Also a bunch of vinyl. If you look here, this is a bunch of old reggae vinyl that we recently just acquired. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff down here. All right, so now we're moving into our on-air studio and our podcasting booth. So you can say hi to my friend Spencer over here. <laughs> hi. So this is the on-air studio. This is normally where the, all the magic really happens. Um, so from the 90s up until, you know, COVID hit, this, is, this would be full of people coming in and out, doing their shows. If you were a volunteer and you had a show, you would be sitting right over here. If you had someone to interview, you'd have them over on the other side here. And yeah, so this is a really, really big, important spot. Um, since COVID has hit, we actually have moved to volunteers and programmers making their programming entirely online. So that's been a big feat. Basically, everyone used to always have this and they've transformed their bedrooms, their homes into their studios now. Um, but yeah, we hope to come back to the studio soon. But for now, we've kind of transferred it online, which was really, you know, quite a task at first, but now it's been running quite smoothly. Yes, I know. Yes, I know now. So this is kind of like the motherboard. This is where everything is housed before it gets broadcast out into the city. Um, we have a broadcast tower that is, I think, on top of the mountain and it goes very far. Um, it goes all across the island of Montreal and even hits as far as upstate New York. Um, so yeah, and this is kind of fun, even though we're all making programming from home, this is still the hub, the motherboard that sends everything out. So as I play with the buttons here, right now, I am putting the volume up across the city and taking it down a little bit. So yeah, that's kind of fun. Um, 
Over here we have some turntables, all those great vinyl that you saw in the library. You could take it for a spin here. Yeah, so even though this studio is closed right now, um, we've had a lot of programmers be really creative with how they can broadcast from home and from other spots. Uh, just this morning, we had a program go live from like a sneaker store in NDG. Um, and so people have kind of been going out into the community and taking up community spaces and making it their broadcast studio, which is really fun. Or even making their bedroom their broadcast studio. We're kind of, we've gone out into the city and made things work in a new way. So now we've shown you around our basement where everything gets produced and created and all the music is. We're going to take you upstairs into our offices. Welcome to CKUT's kind of HQ. This is where we all work. Um, we have a staff of about just under like 10 people that kind of holds the ship down, holds the fort down, makes everything work. Um, so I'll show you over here. This is kind of our production HQ. So this is where all the nuts and bolts, all the technical stuff is. If you volunteer and you happen to need to borrow some sound equipment or some equipment to go live from home, you would borrow it from Spencer over here, who is our production coordinator. Um, and if you come over into this room, this is kind of our little volunteer lounge. It doesn't look too fancy right now. Um, but we have a volunteer who's working on an archiving project right now, going through our old posters, newspaper clippings, things like that over there. So this is kind of a space where, especially before COVID, people would gather and hang out and the radio station would be as much of a community center as it was a radio station. So people would kind of come and socialize, have a cup of coffee um, when they're coming in and out of their show and yeah. Next up is the music department and the music room. So come on in. Got a lot of chaos, fun, chaotic posters, CDs, things like that. Hey, um, my name is Madison Palmer. I am the digital music librarian here at CKUT. Um, if you're interested in the music department and you are a McGill student, congratulations. This is a super accessible position for you to work in. I personally am a McGill student. I was hired over the summer and then was able to get rehired in the fall and winter semester. Essentially, what I do is I take music submissions from local artists, international artists, and throw them in our library database, which I have up on my screen here. And we adhere to a specific code, which is, is a little rough, but here it is and basically just mark up the CDs and we put them in our library, which you will see downstairs. All right, well, thanks for coming along with us on this tour of your campus radio station today. If you wanna get involved with CKUT, there's tons of opportunities to get involved. If you wanna just tune in and listen, we try and kind of have a broad range of programming for everyone to kind of suit your tastes and your interests. Um, yeah, so you can tune in at 90.3 on the dial, ckut.ca online.